So I was born in Hong Kong. My family and I immigrated to the United States in 1998 after finishing the third grade. And I finished the rest of primary school as well as middle school and high school in the United States and then went straight into my university program. I finished my bachelor's in 2010 and then went into medical school. I graduated in 2014 and started my family medicine residency, which is the training program in the United States for the family medicine specialist. I graduated that in 2018 and started working for, as a family medicine specialist. Well, after working about one year, I wanted to try something new. Uh, and as a, still a young physician, I wanted to try to explore different options that I have. So initially when I was uh, looking for places to move to, I looked into Taiwan, Singapore and also Hong Kong. And then at the same time, my friend introduced me to limited registration, the program in Hong Kong. So I decided to give it a try. So the whole interview process was uh, very smooth actually. Uh, after I submitted the application, the head office of hospital authority contacted me shortly and they arranged for various documentations and online interview. Shortly after that, uh, I was granted the position to come back. So initially I was a little bit worried uh, before coming back to Hong Kong whether I would be able to adapt and get along with my co-workers or whether I would be able to uh, need to learn new guidelines in terms of practicing medicine. But after coming here, I realized that all my worries were really nothing to worry about at all. Uh, my co-workers were really nice to me. I was able to make a lot of new friends here. And also, uh, the guidelines that are used in Hong Kong are actually very similar to that of the uh, United States as well. Hong Kong actually definitely has a lot to offer. Um, being a big food paradise, uh, I think there's a lot of food to try out. Um, as well as the public transportation in Hong Kong, I think is just phenomenal. Uh, in the U.S., I was just always driving in traffic uh, for over an hour going to work and also returning home. But here, public transportation is really convenient. You can hop on and go anywhere really quickly. And also, I think the, in terms of income, uh, the tax in Hong Kong is much lower than that of the United States. So in the end, actually, uh, the salary, you can actually earn more in Hong Kong than you do in the United States. So the reason I chose family medicine, uh, I think it's because I'm able to see patients of all ages. You know, from the time they're born until the time they get old, I'm still able to see them. And also the variety of pathologies that are uh, seen in family medicine is, is so broad. And I really like the diversity that it has to offer. So I think in terms of career development, I, I really want to stay and continue working in Hong Kong. There's just a lot of opportunity for growth as well. And with the recent pandemic and COVID, um, there's a lot of healthcare changes going on worldwide and especially in Hong Kong as well. So as a Hong Kong local, I think I really want to contribute to this healthcare system. And for young doctors, I think this is a great place for career development as well.